Hey, Carl here from Columbia Water Gardens, and today I'm going to give you another really cool, quick tip. In this particular case, we've got a little micro pond that we're putting in, and this micro pond has all the power and the lights and all the light controls and everything else that needs to find its way underneath this sidewalk here over to where the power is going to be on the other side of the wall over here. So what we want to do is we want to um, prepare this area for the electrician because the electrician, he's going to charge us an arm and a leg just to be able to run directly underneath here. And I'm going to show you guys how we get this stuff ready for the electrician to come by to do his job and save a couple of bucks in the process. So what a lot of people will do in, in, uh, in a situation where they're going to tunnel underneath a, a, a concrete pathway, what a lot of people will do is they'll take a hose and attach it to some sort of a hose bib and uh, and and try, just kind of ram that thing through there, creating a big, huge, watery mess. But what I like to do is, is I like to kind of make things a little bit easier. You can pick these parts up over, in fact, I got these from Lowe's, and these are little 12 to 14 inch extenders. And each one of these guys snaps on. And as I snap them on, I've got an auger bit that goes down to the end. And basically what we do is we start with one piece and we push it through then we add another piece and we continue to push it through and we have that final piece and we push it through and when we're done we have a nice clean hole one inch wide to be able to fish to fit that pipe through and we're done no water no mess clean professional done save some money hey. so check this out we've already drilled through out to about here and this is about ready to come through the other side but adding extensions on is really as simple as pulling that back, making sure that you're attached, and then putting the extension back onto the drill. So you really don't need that big of a hole. What I like to do is I like to go forward as I'm going through, and then to pull the dirt back and to pull the auger back through the hole, I just set the drill in reverse. Check it out, we're about ready to come through over here. So the reason why I like using a drill bit auger is in case there's roots or any other obstructions that we might need to be able to punch through as we go underneath the hole. But this is a really clean way. Look at this, just a little bit of dirt inside the hole, no water, no mess. And it took me less than five minutes. I really hope you enjoy it. It took me less than five minutes. And it took me less than five minutes. <laughs> hey, anyways. Um, <laughs> This isn't going as smooth as I normally do on a lot of my quick tip videos, but in this particular case this morning, I've just, my mind is elsewhere, but I really wanted to get this out there and show you guys. If you like this video, and if you just found the content helpful, genuine, sincere, like the video. If you think it's gonna help somebody else, maybe you might wanna share it out there in social media. But in the meantime, I'm with Carl. I'm, <laughs> I'm just being me myself. <laughs> Today's the day. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens, and I'm here to remind you that saving money with little quick tips like this, that really puts you ahead of the game. Happy ponding.